Medicine. The governor announced new road and bridge standards that could help save some money. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Veronica Ortega is in the newsroom tonight with more. Veronica? Megan, Governor Ricketts says the changes modernize requirements for new construction and allows counties and cities to make repairs with less hassle and money. So that we can get the best uh, bang for our buck. Nebraska roads and bridges are finally catching up to the rest of the nation. The 3R standard, which is new to Nebraska, stands for resurfacing, restoration, and rehabilitation. Governor Pete Ricketts made the announcement during a press conference Tuesday. He says improving our infrastructure has been one of the main focuses of his administration. We no longer are going to have those why moments when we drive down a road and say, why did we have to do all these improvements? Officials say this new approach will maintain safety standards while resulting in less government and allow local governments the flexibility to address concerns. So rather than investing in a brand new bridge or road, engineers can fix existing problems. They can go and work on a spot that has a crash problem or a concern without being worried that suddenly they have to meet all of the new design standards for the entire roadway from one end to the other. Lancaster County engineer Pam Dingman says 3R will help save money. She says after major flooding events last year, more than 1,700 locations needed some type of road resurfacing. They have all been fixed, but 12 bridges remain damaged, and the new standards will allow your tax dollars to go further. 3R is really a way of um, allowing us to stretch our engineering maintenance dollars further. Um, and all cities and counties in Nebraska right now are really strapped by those maintenance dollars, and, and we have a, a lot of things to do to get caught up. Ricketts says the standards are common sense and it will help our economy grow. All right, Veronica Ortega, thank you for the story.